What's up ladies? Welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl Lorna Marie. Today for you I am bringing you a guest room preparation video. It's everything that I do to prepare for those guests and you know when they come to your house you want it to be like fabulous and you want them to be like oh my god I had such a good time and <laughs> all that stuff. So I'm preparing my whole guest room. I want them to feel amazing. I mean I want them to eventually leave but I do want them to love and enjoy their time when they're here. So this is everything that I do to prepare for my special guests to come to my house. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Lorna Marie. I do a lot of mommy, lifestyle, organization videos. If you feel like it, definitely subscribe and hit that bell so you're notified every single time I post a video. I'll be linking everything in the down bar below, including my new website. It has everything you need, including all of my favorites. So if you want to see how I prepare for my guests and try to make my house like a, what are those called? A BRB? No, that's be right back. Um, an Airbnb? Then just keep watching. So first, I'm going to wash everything down, wipe the counters down, clean the bathroom, clean the tub, we're gonna clean all the floors, then we're gonna wash all the bed sheets, make the bed, make it look super beautiful. I also am hanging up a curtain rod um, and some curtains to add just some final um, touches to it. The next part is purchasing buying shopping this is my this is my part this is my favorite part so i start buying stuff which is snacks uh toiletries anything that i think that my guests will would like to have so for me i like to do chips i do um what is it called beef jerky i do sweets i do like some candy bars and i do like some um you know sour or like sweet candy i do like a variety in a mix i do some nuts i put a couple of healthy things so they have options because you know people feel kind of weird when they come to your house to like go dig in there i mean it depends on who it is but even if it's the middle of the night and they feel comfortable they may not get up so if it's there and it's accessible i also like to put a bunch of drink options so i do water soda um, Gatorade, I put some coffee stuff in there. I literally put everything you could possibly think of, um, snack wise and drink wise, just so they feel very special when they come in there. So now I'm setting up my food tray. I got this years ago from Ross and I spray painted it silver. It worked out really nice. I'm putting a bunch of chip options. So they have a variety and I also have some trail mix. And then I like to put some emergency seat packs. People love to take that when they're traveling and it's just a nice addition, as well as some flavored water packs. And then, of course, you gotta get the goodies. I got the pies and the cookies and all of the yummy candy because when you go traveling, you know you're just like, it's time to splurge and I need something sweet. So I also have beef jerky because if they need some protein, I put some almonds in here and I also like to put a few packs of gum just so they can have it on the go with them. I really like how the tray turned out. I feel like there's something for everybody. It looks super welcoming and it reminds me of staying in a really nice hotel, but guess what? you don't get charged for this stuff and I have my little eat me sign of course and then I'm gonna just be setting up all the drinks and I might add a couple after this but this is what I have so far and then it'd be nice too to put a couple extra chargers and have like a charging station so your people can you know have a charger and a place if just in case they forget theirs and then it's time to assemble so I actually um, I switch it up every time I have a guest because I just I'm like that and I'm like ooh this will work better ooh this will work better put in um, all the toiletries and then I set that in a basket and then they can see everything that's there another good suggestion if you have kids and people that are staying with you not everybody can deal with your crying kids okay your kids are brats I'm just kidding so no my kids aren't brats, your kids aren't brats. But sometimes babies cry and kids get loud and it's nice if people wanna sleep in or even just sleep through the night, give them a set of earplugs, so, so key. But so as I start getting all the toiletries and assembling everything together, I like to have toothbrush, toothpaste, um, you know, uh, anything toiletry wise that they can have. I put extra rags, extra towels. I got this cute little clear container from Big Lots and then I got a lot of these toiletries from the dollar store. I like to do an extra hairbrush, lint roller, toothbrush, toothpaste, floss. I like to do a razor, a little bit of shaving cream. I do spray deodorant and don't forget those earplugs, girl. And then I also do three different hair accessories, bobby pins, hair ties, clips. I do things they might forget, lotion, baby powder, facial spray, and then I also have different types of soap, a shower cap, and a sewing kit. 
I mark everything. This is the one thing that I think is super key is that you, where you put your food, you say, eat me. Where you put the towels or the toiletries, it says, use me. Just so people know that that's not just sitting there. Sometimes they just, they won't do it. So you have to specify. I got these really cute chalkboards from Michaels and they have little clothespins on them so you can actually clip them to whatever you want. I thought that was such a cute little idea and super easy to attach to things. I wanted to show you guys how I store my guest towels. I put them in this bin here and what's nice is you can put it wherever you want. You can put it on the floor, you can put it on their bed when they arrive, you can put it on the counter, but they're just all in one place, especially if you don't have a lot of closet space. I think this is such a great idea to do something like this. And I think it looks really, really nice as well, especially with our little tag we just made. I also like having a rack or something that they can put their suitcase and have it elevated off the floor. Sometimes it's annoying for people to bend over and get their stuff out or you don't want it on, on your bed. So you get like a little rack or something that they can put their suitcase on, which is really nice. Now it's time for all the details. I like to call this the final touches. So what I like to do is print up a Wi-Fi password um, and so everybody knows what the Wi-Fi code is and you put it right in there because everybody's gonna ask you anyway so if you just have it there they don't even have to ask and then I also like to put a couple of um, gifts together I'm gonna do like a little mini bar um, gift for my friends gonna be going out and going to a bunch of different places and I thought that would be such a fun little gift for them to have I got their favorite drink and mixer and I tied a bow around it and I put it in the center of their bed. It was super easy and just a nice touch to make them feel super welcomed. And then I also put a couple added little things in there, put like a pen and paper on the desk. And then I just start putting flowers and different things and everything just to bring their room together. I lay a blanket over and just make everything feel really good. I give it a good spray with some room spray, make everything smell wonderful, and then you're ready to go. Your guests have a wonderful, amazing place, and they may not want to leave. So that's pretty much what I like to do to prepare for my guests. All right, you guys, this is the overview of the room. I feel like it looks super welcoming and cozy. It's nice and clean and inviting. I love the way the sign turned out. It's so cute. And I also love the way the little snack and toiletry station turned out. I bought this bench so they can put their stuff down or sit while they get their shoes on. And then I have this three-tiered little thing here. It's got tissues and perfume, lotion. And then I ended up putting the towels right here by the bathroom door so they'd be easily accessible and right where they need them. And then I also put this little break in case of emergency little container. I added these stickers to add the extra toilet paper. But everything came together so nice. I love it. They had such a good time and I know that they enjoyed all of the little amenities that we provided for them. I also put together this coffee bar I'll link the video in the down bar below I did a fall decorate with me so if you guys want to check that out it will be down there for you all right you guys that was my guest room preparation video I hope you enjoyed that let me know in the comments below what you like to do to prepare for your guests and if you could use anything that I showed you here today definitely give me a thumbs up I'd so appreciate it don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell and if you made it to the end of this video thank you so much I truly appreciate you being here and supporting my channel and until next time I'm always your girl Lerna Marie bye